Robinhood has become synonymous with retail investing and the individual investor in America. And with that comes uh, good things and the downsides of it as well. So nobody's talking about too many other brokerages. You don't hear, you know, you hear Robinhood investors and, and that's kind of become the new term for retail investors. Robinhood wasn't the only broker to restrict trading. A large number of brokers uh, had restrictions. But since we do represent the industry to a large degree, we got a disproportionate amount of the of the scrutiny and the attention for that. And, you know, we own up to that. That's something that's something we accept. And that's why we're doing our best to make steps, not just within the company, but industry wide to make these problems not happen in the future. We accept that there's always things that we could be doing better and we're investing a lot in making sure that customers are are educated and of course they need all of the all of the tools they need to succeed. Uh, ultimately though more access is better and the stock market in particular has been a great source of wealth creation for so many people. It's been reserved for the 1% for a very long time. So we're proud to give access and to make it easier for people to use.